in the western deserts of the Arabian Peninsula, along the ancient caravan routes, lies the lost city of Petra. The beginning of Petra dates back more than 2,000 years ago to a people called the Napateans. They had found a remarkable shortcut through the mountains. This long and narrow gorge is called the Seat and forms the only entrance to the hidden city. The other secret is that the Nabataeans controlled all the water for miles around, channeling it through these runnels and then selling it to the caravan drivers. One and a half kilometers into the Sikh, it suddenly opens up into the first of the famous ruins. This is the treasury. Carved into the solid rock of the cliff face, it is one of the wonders of the world. Even up close, its details are remarkable. There's not actually much inside, but a recent archaeological dig beneath it shows it to have been the tomb of one of the Nabataean kings. Just around the bend, the valley starts to open up. On the opposite cliff is a place called the Necropolis. These rock-cut tombs spread over the entire cliff just past the treasury. The Bedouin people still live in these caves. They are most likely descendants of the ancient Nabataeans, and they remain a separate people, eking out a living in the deep desert. Past the Bedouin camps, a series of rock-cut stairs take you up into the surrounding mountains. Petra actually covers a huge area, some 100 square kilometers, much of which the tourist will never see. Over 1,000 archaeological sites remain. Behind me are the largest facades at Petra. The one on the left is called the Palace Tomb. Past that, at the top of 800 grueling steps, is one called the Monastery. The names have little to do with the real function. They are all tombs. Far down below, we could see the ancient city center, the Forum, consisting now of Greek and Roman ruins. Petra is mentioned in the Old Testament under the name of Sela. Uh, the Nabataeans might have come from ancient Babylonian soldiers who had fled here, possibly from Yemen. Nobody really knows where they came from. For centuries, though, they controlled the trade routes and grew rich. Sometime around the 5th or 6th century, for reasons that are still unclear, Petra was abandoned and forgotten. It was lost for more than a thousand years, though it was always known to the Bedouins. In the early 19th century, they guided a team of explorers into the ruins, and the rest, as they say, is history.